G'day, I'm David A. Elliott in 2019. In 2008, I did my first DNA ancestry test. This was with Family Tree DNA. I videoed the opening of the kit and demonstrated the collection process. Being the speedy and efficient person I am, it has only taken me 11 years to get around to editing and uploading it to YouTube. And people say I procrastinate. I don't know why. The kit and DNA collection process are virtually unchanged, so it's still relevant in 2019. So, I'll leave you with David A. Elliott in 2008. Over to you, David. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. If we can get it open. Ah. It's well sealed. Ah, gradually getting it open. Aha, uh -huh. let's see what we've got. Hmm, it looks like we've got some instructions. And um, a little kit. Ah, the return address. So what's in there? Aha. Uh -huh. So here's what we get in our little kit. So it looks like we got three vials and swabs. And I guess they um three vials and swabs. Hmm. So I guess that's it. Ah, an instruction sheet on how to collect the DNA. Hmm. So I've actually gotten the most comprehensive kit which tests for 67 markers on the Y chromosome and actually sequences the whole of the mitochondrial DNA. This naturally leads to being able to get more accurate results and also find people within a closer generational range. So, for example, with the 67 markers on the Y chromosome, they will give you a match to as close as three generations, which is quite accurate. They generally test the parts of the DNA that don't code for genes, so they claim it uh, won't tell you any medical results. However, with sequencing the whole mitochondrial DNA, you could yourself check databases to find out whether there are medical conditions that would be determined by these variations in the mitochondrial DNA. However, in putting the results on their database and comparing them to others, they will only reveal those markers that are related to tracing family tree. So no one else will have access to the coding regions that are irrelevant for people's research. This is the swab. So I rip it open out of its packet. And we start swabbing the inside of my cheek for 60 seconds.
I think that should be second. Mm -hmm. That should be enough. We then take the while and screw the lid. Stick it in and supposedly push and the end comes off, which should be in there. We then screw the lid back on and that's it. Take that. It's it's Seal it. So this is the release form so they can share my information with other people who have the same or similar markers. Here is the envelope, or sorry, here are the samples which go into this envelope. And the release form to share information. That goes in there and it gets sealed. Thank you, David. Now, back to the future. I'm David A. Elliott in 2019. If you like what you see, click on the like button, make sure you subscribe and keep watching for new videos. And if you really, really love them, then help support me to make more with as little as a dollar a month at Patreon. Have a good one and see you around like a wristle.